Welcome back, this is the Amajack. Today we got Gunslinger Suicidal Burnin' Paris. Just having a discussion with a friend of mine who owns an Index. And I was saying that the Quest 2 is a better headset than the Index because we were talking about it and stuff. And uh, now we got into a, an, an argument about uh, whether the, the Quest 2 is, is better than the, the Index. And I think it is, I think it is. The Index has its pros. The quest has its pros. I think that I think that overall, as a headset, it's not debatable. the The Oculus Quest Two is the best headset on the market right now. Um, if you're looking at it overall, from like you know taking the cost into account and um, you know everything, I think the Quest Two is 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 the most impactful headset to like ever reach the market. Um, because of that, and and I think it, it definitely shows uh, in the in the quality of the headset. Uh, but looking at it on a uh, you know you're at you're at a a house. Somebody's got uh, the room there for you. It's all set up and stuff. You pick your headset. Which headset do you want? The Quest Two or the Index? The Quest Two or the Index? And I think I think that. The headset you would want to pick is the Quest 2. You know, assuming all other things equal, you're playing you're playing the same games, whatever. You're playing Beat Saber or Pistol Whip or or, or something that's supported on both, right? You're 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 playing a game that's supported on the Quest, right? Uh, otherwise, you have to you know virtual desktop it or whatever. And while you can do that, it does impact the experience a little bit, but like even then, not that much. Um. Anyway, so so you 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 you're playing a game. Uh. You have to pick your headset. You're playing Beat Saber, you gotta pick your headset, okay? Which headset do you pick? I think the, the headset that you'd want to pick is genuinely the Quest 2 because, uh, you know, they're, like, not having a cord is, is such a huge impact on, on the, the immersion, on the experience of, of playing, um, in VR. Because I have played VR with a, 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 a tether. I have played VR while I'm plugged in, and it, 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 it it's actually like so much worse to to, to an enormous extent. Um, you know, you you can argue that uh, the the higher field of view gives you more immersion. Honestly, just not having a tether is uh, is, in my opinion, more immersive than than slightly higher field of view. You know. Because your peripheral vision is, is already so forgettable, you know. Like when I'm playing a game on the quest, I don't notice that 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 there are these like black these these big black circles around the outside of my vision. I just don't notice it. It, it kind of gets lost in the wayside as I'm as I'm actually doing something in VR, you know. Um. Now the ideal is is obviously you get the the high frame rate, you get the high resolution you get the high field of view you get all of it right like that's the ideal obviously yes but if you have to make a trade-off i think that not having a tether and just being able to just play the game that you want to play wherever the heck you want to play it not worry about you know is your pc here or your base stations here or is your cable hooked up right or you know whatever just just put the headset on and just play i i think that that's more important than than having a a slightly slightly better visual experience. Um, the physical experience can't be uh, ignored either, right? Like like there there's oh god, please he's, he's he's coming up on an explosion I think. The the physical experience of the the VR can't be ignored either, you know. Um. And it's it's also got a, it also has a, a huge impact on um on on the experience and not having a tether is a big one it's a big one and you might you might argue you can argue that uh, you have you know some whatever system that that lets you get it down to be almost unnoticeable just not having a tether is really really 
<laughs> really, really nice. Uh, I have, I have, like I said, I've I played a couple of games. Just had it plugged in while I was playing because it was like dying or whatever, and it's just, it just. Yeah, you, you touch the cable once, and you're just brought out of the game. In my experience, like, you touch the cable even just once, just, just, just you brush it, you know, and yeah, you, you, it gets in your way, and now, now you have to fix it, right? It, it takes you out. It takes you out, and and that that ruins the immersion of the game. So, in my opinion, not having that tether is is like, it, it's more important than than anything else. So I would pick if I were at a. Uh, at a house now, I'd pick the index because I've never played on the index, and I would like to see what the experience is like to be able to say definitively that uh, yes, I, I would prefer the uh, the uh, the quest two over the index. I'd like to, I'd like to just experience it. You know, I'm not gonna definitively say, but honestly, my opinion, my stance on the matter at the moment is is that the quest two is the best headset on the market, and it kind of makes sense too because. Uh, the index is like a year and a half old at this point, you know. Like it's it's old, it's old hardware. It's ancient in in the world of VR. That's that's very old. Um, that's that's quite old. And uh, you know, it's it's the the Quest Two is is a month old or something like that. Like it's it's very new. And that makes a big difference, you know, all the technology that was developed in the past year. You know, obviously, well, maybe not obviously, but I would imagine that uh, Valve has, you know, Steam, Valve, you know, all them peeps out there. I would imagine that they have currently a, a prototype of a headset that just completely smashes the Quest 2 and the Index, you know? Like higher resolution. Probably the same frame rate as the index currently, because they have a pretty good frame rate. I don't think you really need more than that. Maybe they have better frame rate though. I don't know. Um, better field of view, maybe better audio, better comfort, lightweight. You know, maybe they have a wireless edition coming up as well. Like I don't know, but I would I would imagine they have something, right? Because the Valve Index was a first gen product from from Valve from in the VR scene, and first gen products always, always, always are like like you know second gen to third gen is a leap first gen to second gen is is always like an enormous leap because you've you've learned from making that first one and uh, now you're gonna put those what, what you've learned along the way to uh, to making it even better plus you, you got time now to work on making it like even better beyond that you know Cause like like when you make something like if you've ever played like Minecraft or something or or anything really right like you've you've got uh, you you'll have um, you'll you'll build a house or base or farm or something like that and as soon as you're done you'll be like yeah I could do that again right now and it would be better that's that's exactly what's happening with with products you know with your phone with your TV with with whatever you know as they go through it the the bits at the start just aren't as good as the bits at the end and they're like yeah we could do that better immediately we, we could just throw together something right now that would be better um, but they get to release that product and then continue refining it even beyond that um, so it's always like the first gen product is is, 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 is a big big jump from the set or the second gen product is a big 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 jump from the, the first gen product because of that and then after that you, you, you don't learn as much ever, over every iteration you know this is the first one where you, you really make those monumental discoveries as you're kind of going like oh we totally could have done this shoot we'll do that next time you know and why did we do it that way like like just do it this way you know and then after that, you're kind of like, eh, maybe, maybe now and then you'll have like a eureka moment, but for the most part, it's iterative improvements beyond that. But uh, yeah, the index, I, I think that it's a worse headset than the Quest 2 on on uh, on a purely, you're not even taking the the cost into account. And then you do take the cost into account, and it's like night and day. Like the Quest 2 is three hundred dollars, straight up, just just three hundred bucks. You pay, you pay 300 bucks, you have a Quest 2, you can play VR, room scale VR. Boom, done, you're done, that's it. That's all there is to it.
That's it. No, no, no other things necessary. You don't need to buy a cable. You don't need to set up the base stations. You don't need to have a computer. You don't need any of that. It's just the quest. Do three hundred dollars. You're done. Stand alone, baby. The index. It's like a thousand bucks for the headset, which comes with all the base stations. You need a computer that's able to power it, which is going to be another like probably thousand dollars or so. Realistically, you're like two thousand dollars. That's like. You know, like 15% of the cost. The, like the quest is like 15% of the cost of, of getting a a uh, an index set up, which which just just absolutely blows it out of the water. Now you know you, you can argue that you already have a computer that can run it or whatever. Yeah, even then it's still like 30% of the cost. You know, oh you got you got launched, buddy. You know, even even then, you know, you, you, it's still thirty percent of the cost. That's still an enormous rack. Like that's 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 nothing. You know, like that's nothing. Um, so so when you take cost into account, the the quest two is just like in my opinion an objectively better purchase. If you have too much money, you don't know what to do with it all. Go for it. Get get a get a index, I guess. But like even then, you gotta really hate Facebook. If you want to do that, because even then I would probably say I don't know. Would I rather have an index or a quest? I'd probably rather have a quest. I'm feeling generous. You know, I think it's a better experience. The downsides of it are are minor. The downsides are minor. The upsides are huge. Huge. Like I played it in the living room. I played it in my room. I played. It, it like I, I just pick it up and I go wherever the heck I want and it's just it's just working. So anyway, we had the uh, the argument about which is better, and I'm like I always feel bad when I do that when I have a thing and then somebody else has a thing and I'm like yeah no like yours is worse because it's like the index is a good headset. You know if you have it and that's what you're playing VR with, that's not a bad experience. That's not something to regret. You you shouldn't have any kind of buyer's remorse over that. Like that's that's a you made you made your decision to buy the the index and uh, you got it. You got what you paid for. You got what you expected to get. It's a good experience. Um, and I always feel bad when I'm when I'm when I'm talking about it because I'm like I don't want to make you feel bad like you made the wrong decision. Because uh, well, I personally feel like the uh, the quest is a better experience. You might not. You might value the higher frame rate as being more important than not having the tether. You might value, you know, um, the, the higher field of view as being more important than not having a tether. You might value these things, you know? Personally, I don't. You know, I, I look at what I've got on the quest and I'm like, more than this would be great. If I had more frame rate, that'd be great. Do I really care though? Like, no. It doesn't, it's not bad enough to bother me, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, uh, an impenetrable wall isn't really necessary. You don't need bulletproof glass for your windows. Huh. That's gotta, it's gotta hurt. He's just kind of floating there. We, 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 we stand this. Um, <laughs> you know, your your preferences may may vary. For me personally, I just I, I don't see the 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 benefit of having slightly higher field of view because like I don't care. Like maybe it's more immersive. Sure, I'm I'm completely immersed. Okay, I was playing super hot and they put me in a like up in the sky and I panicked. Okay, I've already got the immersive anyway. Right, right, right. Yeah, so. It's kind of like you don't need uh, an impenetrable wall, right? Like, how do we, how do we, how do I, how do I, how do I analogy this? How do I analogy this? It's, it's like, um, Down you go. if you're building, like, a, uh, I don't know. I don't even know how to, how to describe it. If, if you're building a, uh, you have to go for good enough. You know what I mean? Like, well, we'll go with we'll go with build quality. We'll go with build quality here, okay? So, people will often praise you know company X for having great build quality or whatever, right? You know, like like Apple, they have great build quality on their on their laptops and phones and whatnot, right? Like the 
the aluminum is is you know the CNC aluminum is is sturdy and, and secure and uh, it's it's it feels good in the hand whether whether you like the products or not the, the they, they feel good in the hand right like the quality of the build itself is is good whether you, you agree with the price or the software or whatever but to me it's kind of like it's a, it's a trade-off right so you you end up having that that you know that that fantastic build quality but you get pay for it you know you're paying for it and i'd rather pay less and then get something that's slightly worse build quality but still feels good and still feels you know like at a certain point there's like diminishing returns on it you know where you're paying more for something but the benefit is really small the benefit is is is, is you know there but in, in practical use is it really going to make your experience any different you're, are you really paying for for anything that's actually going to affect the way you use the device, I I don't I don't really think so. That's that's kind of how I feel about with the quest and the index. You know, the index, you're paying more to get a better experience. You know, visually, a better experience visually, higher frame rates, higher field of view, much lower resolution, which is you know kind of a trade-off um it is actually like quite a bit lower resolution um but uh you, 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 you're, you're doing that trade-off right and then uh you have to also like set up the base stations you have to set up all of this stuff and i'm like i'm looking at it and i'm like yeah you're paying all this money to to go through all this work to set up all these base stations and, and everything and get it all going and what do you get out of it? Well, you get an Oculus Quest 2 that is stuck in the one room that you set up for it. <laughs> this is kind of how I feel about it. It's, it's like, I don't know. I just... To me, I, I feel like Valve went past the point of diminishing returns. And they sacrificed... Other things that I care about more than what those sacrifice got out of it, you know, like like uh, not having a tether. It's so good, you know. Wireless VR is is actually way better than wired VR. It actually is. Okay, and I I've, I've played on both, so I get I get to say. So you can get rid of those wires and have like a good experience on the index. I just I don't think it's really going to be as good an experience as the Oculus Quest 2. Now, I don't think it's a bad experience. I think the difference here is like negligible, right? But I think that the difference is there. Um, so, it's just, it's just, it's just they're, they're, they've gone past the point of diminishing returns. And to afford all those bonuses, they had to, to make sacrifices that, that made the device worse in places that I care about more, is all. Um, Than, uh, than what we got out of it, so. It's basically how it goes. Anyway, the moral of the story here is I'm playing about two hours of Beat Saber a day at this point, maybe an hour and a half to two hours. Um, God, I get so sweaty. It's like gross to, to share VR headsets with people, honestly. I sanitize it whenever I'm letting other people use it, but I'm basically at the point now where other people are just not allowed to, to touch it. It's, it's, it's my headset. You don't get to touch it anymore. It's just gross. Like I, I finished up uh, like a couple hours of Beat Saber earlier, and well, hell, like I had to take the headset off a couple of times to to wipe away the sweat, <laughs> so that like it wouldn't drip into the headset. Uh, and then when I was done, I took it off and the the like I took off the face cover to like dry it off. Does, does that tell you enough about it? Um, I took off the face cover thingy to, to dry it off and it was like dripping with sweat. <laughs> Literally dripping with sweat. It's disgusting. So unless you have multiple face covers, like just honestly, for my money, sharing a VR headset, mm, it's not, it's, I, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to a friend's house and, and use their headset. I'll, I'll put it that way, okay? You can sanitize it and stuff, but... 
it's just kind of gross, dude. It's just kind of gross, you know? It's just kind of gross, that's all. It's okay for it to be gross, though. It's allowed to be gross. It is, uh... Definitely gonna have an impact on my weight, though. The, the whole VR thing. Which is great, because that's, that's part of the reason why I bought it, but... Like, it's... <laughs> um... I'm noticing the changes. Like, I feel I, I am having an easier time sleeping, uh, which is awesome. Uh, like, just just getting exercise in helps with with sleeping. Uh, not necessarily exercise right before you sleep. I don't. I don't think there's been any studies done that say definitively that it's bad. But common uh, knowledge kind of kind of says that that's bad for for sleeping. Uh, to go for a, a walk, or to, to go to have any kind of a strenuous exercise immediately before you go to sleep is, uh, generally speaking, a bad thing. I don't know if there have been any research papers done or anything like that on it, but um, that's that's kind of what people say, you know. Uh, but um. Exercising in general does help you sleep. Just, just not right before bed. You know, exercising early on in the day or whatever is is, is good. So my my plan basically is to get up and and do like I I, I just I play Beat Saber until the, the Oculus Quest Two dies, which is about an hour and a half to two and a half hours ish, depending on uh, I don't know the day I guess. <laughs> um, but uh, that's kind of my schedule at the moment. I do have to get some like custom songs on it, which I'm noticing is a problem because uh, I'm on Windows 8.1 and Oculus Link doesn't work on Oculus 8.1. It only works on Windows 10, which is uh, pretty sucky. I use Windows 8.1, by the way, because I think it's the best operating system. I have like a lot of custom stuff in my Windows install. It, it, if you're a Windows user, you would probably look at my computer and ask me if it's Linux. Uh, people tend to do that. They're like, oh, is this Linux? I'm like, nope, it's Windows. <laughs> like, how'd you do that? Um, but uh, Windows has the best support for games, so I, I, I basically remodeled Windows to, to look more like Linux and feel more like Linux, but it's still uh, Windows. So if I were to update to Windows 10, I have to like update a lot of my scripts and stuff to to work. It's, there's like some kernel stuff going on and uh, like some shell stuff, and there's, there's just there's just a lot of stuff to be updated, which is uh, sad. So, um, if I, if I update, I'll have to worry about that. I might have, like, I have to update is the thing, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Um, but I have to get some custom songs on Beat Saber for sure. That, that is a, is a priority of mine at this point. Um, I actually, I like the songs that are built into the, 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 the game, like, just the, the base songs. I think, I think they're actually kind of good. A lot of people hate them. A lot of people are super not pro the base songs, and they're like, yep, the game is unplayable without you know, BMBF or whatever, which is the uh, the modding thing for for Beat Saber. I get you need it to play Beat Saber. It just you can't really. It's not really fun without it. I'm like I don't know. To me, and I've only played it for maybe ten hours at this point. For me, personally, I'm like I don't know. These songs are good. <laughs> you know, like the the songs that are in the 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 game just to begin with are, are good and I, I have a lot of fun playing them as well but 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 uh, if I'm gonna be doing you know two hours of Beat Saber every day for like you know a few months a year or whatever definitely gonna want more songs definitely gonna want more songs and I might switch up to I might go to Pistol Whip eventually which is kind of a similar thing but more pistoly I might go to I don't know there's, there's a lot of like music based games which uh, get you moving around and stuff my my thing for uh, for these games is I need like desperately need them to be physically taxing uh, I believe pistol whip is um, 
because I need to make sure I'm burning calories because that's the main reason I'm doing it. Well, it's like the second. It's the main reason I'm doing two hours a day every day rather than just like doing as much of Beat Saber as I want. But my main motivator is to play Beat Saber is because I want to play Beat Saber anyway. I might switch it up if I get bored with it, but uh, getting mods and custom songs and stuff is definitely going to help along that um, like thing. So we'll we'll worry about it. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when it comes, you know? Cross that bridge when it comes, but custom songs are definitely going to be necessary. I think I can do that on Windows 8.1 because it just requires side quests. I don't think that requires the Oculus Link, but anyway. It's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, like, and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.